Hey everybody, General Discord here, and welcome to the start of a brand new series! I know, right? You weren't expecting it at all. Well, to be honest, neither was I. This is kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing, because this is going to be something that's relatively easy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone in between, to Hills of Moo. This is a Vex map, but it is a super docile map. This is not a super hostile map, this is a super docile map. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm feeling super lazy. I really don't want to do anything difficult, but I want to do something different. So yes, welcome to Super Docile, Hills of Moo by Vex. And instead of Super Hostile, uh, like normal Super Hostile, he has a set of rules. These are just suggestions, not rules. So number one, find and complete the Victory Monument. That's a standard right there. Use at least easy, never peaceful. And what we're going to do here is go into options. We're going to lock this world. Yes, we're locking it on normal. Done. Uh, number three, do not leave the map boundaries. I'll do what I want. This is a suggestion, not a rule. Uh, number four, obtain wool in any way you can, even dyes. That's very different. Uh, usually in Vex maps, you cannot use dye uh, or spider string to make wool. <clears throat> uh, survive any way you can think of. You may craft the blocks, the metal blocks for the victory monument. And have fun. Do whatever you want. Smiley face. A very chilling thing to hear in a Vex map. Kind of creepy. Uh, but yes, this is a super docile map. Uh, this is its a very easy map. I've played it before. It was fun. Had a good time with it. Um, I'm in 1.8. Uh, this isn't this map isn't meant to be played in 1.8. As you can see, the ground is kind of weird. That's because this is... Oh, hi, cow. Uh, this is a mesa biome. Most of this island is a mesa biome, in fact, uh, in this seed in 1.8. Um, there's spawners here in the ground. They're spawning cows. So obviously we have a ton of food. Uh, first episode here, just going to get, you know, all the supplies, all the starting things done. Um, get all of the uh, things that we need for our first day. Ooh, my uh, video settings are weird. Hold on one second here. Uh, video settings. Uh, we can do up to 10 junks. 10 junks? We don't want 10 junks. Um, clouds off. Yes, that's what we want. Okay. Much better. Uh, I had the I had the render distance down a little bit, and I had uh, fancy graphics off uh, because I was busy last night doing a little bit of testing, a little bit of stream testing, and I had to turn my Minecraft settings way down. My computer is not really good for streaming. I was trying to stream on the uh, built-in Minecraft uh, streaming via Twitch. Um, I think I'll be doing a little bit of that, but it's not going to be very high quality, unfortunately. It's going to just be uh, me doing probably single-player stuff. Maybe some multiplayer, but not really a whole lot. Like I said, my computer is not very good for streaming. So I'm not going to be doing too much of that. But I will probably do a little bit of that just to try and familiarize myself with that. Uh, because I do want to start doing some streaming. Uh, particularly when I get a uh, new computer, which will be eventually. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our first crafting bench here. Uh, like I said, this is this is a very easy very easy map. It's really not too complicated, not too difficult. Um, easy to find supplies. You know, Vex made it not too challenging um, because that's the intent right here. It's it's a super docile map. It's supposed to be easy. Um, right over here we are at Spawn Point Station. This is a track that goes all the way around the map, or at least all the way around the important parts. I don't think there's anything... Whoa, hi. That scared me, actually. <laughs> that That stupid cow. Uh, scared me. And in fact, because of that stupid cow who scared me, we're going to rename this the stupid cow who scared me rail station. Oh, that's not how you spell stupid. Dang it. Uh, stupid cow who scared me, rail station. There we go. Very good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm already losing my mind here. Uh, so yeah, in this, in this video, or in this uh, series, I should say, well, I should have started the timer on my thing. Dang it. What's, what's the point of me, of me putting out a stopwatch if I'm not going to start it on time? There we go. So I'm going to try and aim for these minutes, these episodes to be about... Mm, 
15, 20 minutes or so. I don't know how long the series is going to be. Like I said, I've played this map before, uh, so I'm really just doing this for a little bit of fun, a little bit of filler while I kind of get my schedule in order. Uh, it's been really tough for me to be motivated enough to make videos lately, so I've just been trying to uh, go through and do what I can to just... Just try and put some videos out there to let people know I'm still alive. Uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm trying to uh, trying to start and uh, get things going again on my channel. Uh, like I said, ever since I, ever since I moved back in August, it's been really difficult for me to uh, get things going. And let's get some light in here because I'm sure this is kind of dark on video, and I don't have the technology in order to lighten it in the video myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just had some popcorn as a snack uh, after I got home from work, and that's why my throat is a little bit... It's it's very attractive, I know. Ladies, I'm single. Just FYI. Anywho. Uh, yeah, so just doing this series because I thought it'd be fun. You know, fun little series to do uh, some stuff like this. Um, the first night will be a little difficult here because, you know, there will be monsters spawning out. They're all natural spawns. There's not a whole lot of... Uh, actual monster spawners in this map. Uh, like I said, Vex did his best to make it easy, and he's done a very good job with it, I will say. This is a lot of coal to be gathering right off the bat, but that's that's a good thing. Uh, so yeah, there are two basic areas here uh, in Hills of Moo. or three, I should say. There's the Victor Monument, of course, which we will uh, hopefully visit uh, before the end of the episode here. Um, we'll start, we'll go there and hopefully start off the next episode there. Uh, then there is the Strange Temple, or the Weird Temple, or something like that. Oh, I left my crafting bench upstairs. Uh, the Weird Temple, which is one of the stations, one of the places where you can get wool. And then there is a Mysterious Pyramid, where you can get wool as well. Actually, since we're here, let's go ahead and make a shovel. And let's just make the rest of those sticks. Uh, we'll make an axe. We'll get all of the uh, necessary starting equipment here real quick. And we'll make ourselves a stone store sword. A, a stone stored. Very good, Discord. Excellent excellent grasp of the English language you have there. Um, so yeah, there's the, a weird temple, or a strange temple or something like that, which is actually uh, fairly in-depth. There's actually a lot of areas to that. And then there's the uh, the pyramid which will be interesting to go and explore. Uh, like I said, I've, I've done this map before, um, but it was fun. It was interesting. It was worth a, it was worth a look. And I'm glad that I, I gave it a look because it turned out to be actually a pretty fun evening. It took me about, I don't know, a couple hours or so to, to get through it all. Uh, so it'll probably take me about the same here. I'm not going to do it all in one sitting, of course. I'm going to do some things to stretch this out a little bit. I'll probably build a house. Uh, near the Victory Monument or something. Um, I'll probably burn the forest down, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? We'll, do, we'll have fun. We'll have lots of fun. Uh, anyway, let's get some of these cows killed here, because we will need food. And cows are good sorts of leather uh, to make our first set of armor. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the best thing about uh, these these spawners right up here. The cows just keep on coming. Yeah, baby. Yeah, give me them cows. Give me them cows. You just spawned. Guess what? You did. And what I'll want to do is I'll probably uh, get a couple sheep killed. Sorry, Star. If you're watching the Star, I'm sorry, but I'll need to kill the sheep because I don't have any iron and I need a bed. Give me your, give me yourself. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this this I'm not going to do all in one sitting. It'll take me okay. It'll take me a couple recording sessions probably to do it. And I just broke that sapling. Good job. That's okay. Uh, but it will it will it'll be done pretty easily. So it's it's not a it's not a difficult map. It's not a very long map. Uh, but just something a little bit different. I'd been thinking about playing it for a while, and I decided that now was the time. Um, so let's go down into this little valley over here after I kill this guy. Meh. Gotcha. Oh, so many cows. So many cows. So this is what this is what every map needs. Cow spawners. Just infinite cows. Cows for days. Oh, you know what? I'll be able to get some, uh, I'll get some, uh, what's it from the sheep? Some mutton. Yeah. Thank you. 
And there's weird patches of grass underwater. Don't know why it does that. You'd think the grass would die. I'm sorry, sheep. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry, sheep. So very sorry, sheepy. Uh, I don't remember going under here before. What's under here? Oh, looky, there's a chest. I wonder if it's a trap. Probably not, since Vex is nice in this map. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at all these things here. Oh, what a sweetheart that Vex is. I will take that all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Sir. Oh, what a nice guy that Vex is. Whoever said he's whoever said he's a mean, evil guy? Not me. Not me. I really didn't know this was here. This was a surprise. That's very nice. <laughs> um, okay, let me get the iron sword equipped. Number four. There we go. We got a couple backup stone swords. That's very nice. Uh, but I do want to get a couple more pieces of wool. Again, I'm sorry, Star, but this is survival now. We're surviving. You need to you need to survive. You need to survive this this one night. And then after that I'll probably be okay. I hear you. Where are you? Where are you, sheepy? There's the sheepy. I'm sorry, sheepy. I'm so very sorry. But I will use every part of you that you dropped. The wool and the food. Oh, I just love watching those cows spawn. Makes me so happy. Oh, there's a creeper already, but there's a sheep over there, so we're gonna have to gonna have to risk it. Uh, let's see, let's do that there. Put that there. Bow on the bar. Very good. Very good. Okay, and I think I see the victory monument up on the hill there. The creeper doesn't see us. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, now let's go make ourselves a bed and sleep the night away we can get on with this episode. Mm. Not that there's going to be anything interesting happening in this episode because it's all uh, survival stuff, first night survival stuff, and a lot of gift implements from Vex, the nice guy that he is. Hey, I broke you. Maybe I didn't break you. I don't remember. There's a skeleton and a zombie over there. That's okay. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Alrighty, so let's get out of here. Ah! Oh my god. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correctly. I was just scared by a sapling. Oh my good god. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was... That was special. That was really, really special. Okay, let's sleep. <laughs> I, I can't believe I just did that. I can't wait to listen to that reaction on video now. <laughs> oh my god. That that was just incomprehensible. Incomprehensible what I just did. <laughs> wow. That's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and collect the rest of these saplings here. I promise not to be scared by them. I, I swear, it looked like a creeper dropping down on me because of the uh, the color of the saplings is uh, different than the leaves in this biome here. The leaves are very brownish, but the sapling was a very a very nice solid green, and I thought I was going to get exploded right away. <laughs> Oh man, that was that was just special. Just very, very, very special. Okay, yeah, just throw that on the ground. We don't need it. Uh-huh. I'm gonna eat some raw mutton because that's good for you, right? Everyone loves to eat raw food. Uh -huh. How did I take this damage? I jump off a cliff or something? I must have. Sounds like something I'd do, in all honesty. Man, I I, <laughs> I can't believe I jumped that much. So a cow startled me, and then a sapling scared me. Wow. This is, I'm just, I'm amazed that I can even function some days. Apparently today is not one of them. <laughs> oh, 
goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, so there's a desert over that way. That's where the uh, that's where the uh, the what's it uh, the pyramid is. Uh, but like I said, today we're going to go to the Victory Monument. Um, I'm probably going to do some off off screen work, may even live stream it. I'm not sure. Um, but I am going to. No, oh, excuse me. I'm burping. Do some off-screen work on that. Uh, probably get myself set up at the Victory Monument. Uh, get some get some chests set up. Maybe set up a starter house, a farm, stuff like that. Not that I really need a farm, uh, but that's the sort of thing you do in these maps, right? You you build a farm, and you do all of the other silly things to survive. I I don't I don't really know. I'm I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> And I don't know how long this episode has gone on. I mean, it's gone on at least 11 minutes, but I'd been talking for a couple minutes before that. So we could be at 15 minutes right now. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. Um, let's go take a look over this way. We can gather up some of these pumpkins, I guess. Maybe some cacti. Uh, because we can dye wool if we need to. Not that we will need to because we won't need to. Uh, because, like I said, this is this is an easy map. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, this is the desert. Uh, we can actually go take a look at the pyramid real quick, because it's just right over this way. Yep, how about I just fall off there? That's fine. Good work. Very good work. I had thought about doing something like uh, Lethmere, because Lethmere is like a big continental type continental type map. Which is pretty cool. I mean, it's supposedly like a, a hardcore, hardcore one, uh, wherein if you die, then you're dead. You can't restart the map. I wouldn't play it that way. Uh, there's the pyramid right there. It's kind of a uh, ancient, ancient-looking cobblestone pyramid. And there's the uh, entrance right there, that obsidian you can see. Uh, we're not going there right now. We really, we really don't care about that place yet. Um, that's going to be the last place that we go to. Uh, there's a bunch of forest around uh, around that way behind the pyramid. There's nothing to see there. Uh, when I played the map the first time, I explored all throughout it, and there's there's absolutely nothing there. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Flanders. Uh, yeah, that's that's a way to win over the audience. Discord just just quote quote The Simpsons at them. Why not? Quote The Simpsons out of context. <laughs> that's even better. Hello, cow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I really, I really don't need to make a farm of any kind. I don't know why I was gathering pumpkins. There's no reason to do so. Unless I want to do like a uh, pumpkin uh, lighting source, which I guess I might want to do that instead of using uh, torches. Because uh, like I said, we will build a house of some variety. I'm not sure what sort of house. I'm really not sure how long the series is going to go. I'm not really too worried about making it a very long series because uh, there's really no point in making this a long series. Let's do some more of that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some simple leather armor for the time being. And then some of that. And boop, boop, boop. And then there we go. Okay, whoops, I just threw it on the ground. I don't need your tunic. There we go. Well, that's a start. That is a start, I guess. Um, I don't want to wait for this whole this whole coal thing to be done. Uh, let's go take a look and see if we can find any surface iron anywhere. It'd be nice to have a little bit of iron just to start things off with, but it's not it's not a requirement by any means. Um, I'll let that finish burning out, uh, finish cooking uh, that particular couple pieces there. And then we'll go to the Victory Monuments, and we will call an episode here. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to leave a like if you enjoy this video. Um, the reason I stopped my last Super Hostile series, uh, Sunburn Islands, was because no one seemed to be watching it or enjoying it. Or at least they, they weren't liking, they weren't commenting. So, you know, that's that's kind of an indication. It's like, I don't know if anyone really wants to watch this, and I don't know if I should put myself through the time and stress it takes to make the series. So... I enjoyed that series, but it didn't seem like it was being enjoyed by anyone but myself. So that is the main reason I stopped doing that series last year. Was that last year? Yeah, it was last year. 
I have to date only completed one Complete the Monument map. That was my very first one, Spellbound Caves, which is also a Vex map, which would be a lot of fun to live stream maybe. Um, but I would only do it as like a like a part of like a charity live stream sort of thing, which I I have talked about briefly doing that. Um, I want I would I would like to do that someday. I don't know when that day will be, uh, but it's it's not right now. Um, like I said uh, in one of my Discord and Minecraft videos, I want to do uh, some charity live stream stuff, try and raise money for suicide prevention groups uh, because that's a that's an important important service that is provided to people. Uh, people don't have, you know, ready access to health care and uh, services that can save lives. Uh, so at some point in the future, uh, most likely not this year, but possibly in 2015, I would like to start uh, doing some streaming uh, for that particular cause. Just just because it's important. It feels important to me, so that's why I'd like to do that. But we're not going to worry about that right now. If I do any live streaming, it'll just be boring, grindy stuff that only people who really, really like watching me for some reason would even really enjoy. Uh, so there's there's the Victory Monument up there. The challenge is actually getting there. Uh, we can just cross these uh, hills, the hills of Moo, as they were, because of all the cows. Because there's hills and there's cows. Get it? Ah, ah, ah. Clever Vexy. Very clever, Mr. Guy. I think I can get over there from here. Pretty sure. So yeah, this is the this is the forest that's behind here. As you can see, it's it's gross and brown because, like I said, this is all a mesa biome uh, in 1.8 or probably in 1.7. I don't know what update this map was built for, but it was definitely before uh, the map or the update that introduced uh, item frames, which was 1.6 maybe. Was that was that item frames 1.6 or was that 1.4? The pretty scary update. I can't remember which one it was. It was one of those two. All right, but anyway, let's get up here to the home of victory, and we can end the episode. And I will say, uh, episode over. Go go somewhere else. Here we go. All right, so it's a standard victory monument. It's got signs for all the all the wools, uh, white wool, all the way down through the black wool, and of course, iron, gold, and diamond blocks. Uh, what I'm going to do is, you can obtain all of the wools and mineral blocks at each of the places, so what we'll do is we'll obtain them from over in the weird temple first, and then what I'll do is I'll make item frames and put item frames with uh, wool and iron or metal blocks from the pyramid on the ones I've already acquired. So it'll be, it'll be a thing that I can do. It'll be, it'll be fun, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up camp here. We're going to go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and just get things set up here. Uh, the next time you see me, um, things will be a little bit more organized. And I will have, I should probably plant these saplings here actually. Um, I'll have things a little bit more under control. And we'll be ready to really, uh, really go and tackle this, this map and, uh, and get it done. Uh, but for now, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode of Super Docile Hills of Moo. Take care.